In this video, I'll show you how to temporarily close your WooCommerce store in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So here we are on our demo site and throughout this video, I'm going to show you how to temporarily close your WooCommerce store similar to this one. Okay, so a few things to note. So we're currently displaying a site-wide notice letting customers know that this store is temporarily closed. Okay, so we've just added a quick message which say we're currently on vacation. All products will be unavailable for purchase for the next few days. Okay, so it's quite simple. But in the event that a customer ignores this notification or just don't see it, they still won't be able to purchase anything. So if I click on this product here, for example, as you can see, we can see the variation, but we still won't be able to purchase anything. Let's go ahead and try a simple product. And it's the same thing. So for the simple product, we've just completely removed the add to cart button. We've kept the add to cart button for the variable product, just so the user can actually see the different variations in which you've got in your store. Okay. So that's the only reason why that option's there. Okay. But let's say in the event that a customer managed to navigate to the checkout page, we've got two options. So we can redirect them to a specified page, or we can show a custom notification on the checkout page, letting them know that no orders will be fulfilled okay and that we temporarily close so let's try to view our checkout page now okay as you can see it's automatically redirect us to this particular page which i've specified on this page again you can be creative with it you can just add some extra information letting customers know that the store is currently closed and some extra information about when it will be reopened okay okay so if you want to create a similar setup on your WooCommerce store the first step is to head over to allinone at checkout.com go ahead and download the all-in-one at checkout plugin by WeSuite. so this plugin will allow you to temporarily close close your WooCommerce store, right? Among many other things, such as optimizing the checkout flow, adding extra fields, creating upsells, dynamic offers, multi-step checkout, and so much more. So I'll leave the link in the description below. And with that said, let's head over to our dashboard. Assuming you've downloaded the all-in-one at checkout plugin, the next step is just to go ahead and upload that plugin. So you go plugins, add new, go ahead and upload and install the plugin. Once you've done so, you'll see this really sweet menu here. From here, you just want to enter in your license key. It'll Will automatically redirect you to this add-on section and then from here we can just scroll down and just make sure we toggle the all-in-one at checkout plugin to on make sure you've enabled the pro version as well okay and with that out of the way let's move on to the next step okay so we'll navigate over to AIO checkout for all-in-one at checkout okay and then from here you just want to go ahead and create your first checkout form okay so just click create new checkout since I've already created one I'm just gonna go ahead and edit this one here and walk you through what's going on. Okay, so just a quick overview before we actually go ahead and close our store. From here, you'll see a few default fields. So you'll see the WooCommerce default billing fields, shipping fields, and so on. If you want to add new fields, just click on this settings icon here, and then you can drag and drop various different fields onto the checkout page, okay? So I'll leave a link on screen to a playlist showing you how to further utilize this particular plugin. With our checkout field sorted, the next step is just to navigate over to settings here. But before we reach the settings, we might want to configure the designer. Okay, so from here, we can choose from our custom design templates or we can just continue to use your theme default template okay so i'll just leave it as theme default for now since we're going to close the store anyway so now we'll just navigate to settings just make sure you enable this checkout set it as a global checkout as well and um, under name you can give it a name it's just for internal purposes okay for the slug we can ignore this and then where it says applies to you get to choose who you want this um, checkout to apply to in this case it makes sense to choose everyone We'll skip these options. And then in your case, you've got two options. Okay. So in terms of closing the checkout, you can, as I said in the intro, you can close it based on the number of orders received. So you can say after um, 50 orders, close the checkout. Okay. So that's where you'd want to enable this option. So this is useful for those that they do limited runs. So they could say something like they've only got 300 units of this particular product. And once it's gone, the checkout will be gone. And then maybe in this case, this particular store might want to just add a newsletter okay so customers can sign up for when the next drop is so this is where you'd probably use this option here 
Okay, but for this video, I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate closing the checkout after a specific um, date period. Okay, so we'll just enable this option here and then we can go ahead and specify the date in which we want this checkout to be closed on. Okay, so for testing purpose, I'll just select it today. You can set it at a particular date in the future. I think in the future as well, we'll probably add an option to automatically reopen it after a specific time period. Okay, okay, so just specify your date here and then we've got two options. Okay, so in the event that a customer actually lands on the checkout page, we can do two things. So we can redirect them to a particular page or we can show a custom message on the checkout page. Yeah, I should note as well that even if we show the custom message on the checkout page, they still won't be able to complete the purchase. Okay. But the notes just there just to let them know that beforehand, before they're actually filling anything, that they won't be able to make a purchase. Okay, so in my case, I've just selected redirect to a link. So in this situation, it kind of makes sense. We'll redirect them over to a dedicated page explaining why we're closed and probably when we'll reopen and so on. Okay, I've just added my URL here. And then we can just go ahead and hit save changes. Okay, so now when we view our shop page, as you can see, we're actually not able to purchase anything. So we can click read more. And on this particular page, we can select the option, but we still won't be able to check out. Okay. And then let's try a simple product. So this is a variable product. Let's try a simple product now. So for the simple product, we've just completely removed the add to cart button. Okay, for the variable product, we've left the add to cart button there just so they can see the different type of variations that you've got on your store. But again, as I said, I still won't be able to add it to cart. So again, just like the intro, which I've demonstrated already, when we view the checkout page, it'll automatically redirect us to the page that we've already specified, okay? And then one final tip. So again, this is dependent on the theme that you're using, but we can add a global store notice, okay? So if we click customize, so I'm using the storefront theme by WooCommerce. Okay, if you're using a page builder or any other um, similar plugin, you can just create a notice within those page builders, okay? So I'm just gonna click WooCommerce here, and then I'll click store notice. And in here, we'll just add a custom notice, okay? So we just say we're currently on vacation. All products will be unavailable for purchase um, for the next few days, for example, okay? And then we just click this option where it says enable store notice then just hit publish okay and then throughout the store the customer will see this notification here so in the event that they do ignore the notification or don't notice it they still won't be able to purchase anything that's a quick and simple way to temporarily close your woocommerce store in just a few simple steps if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe for more videos like this and if you've got any questions leave in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.